How you doing, all of y'all? My main man, Malcolm Moreau. You know how we're doing it. So today I'm gonna do something pretty different. So it is um, uh, 2:35, and uh, I'm out in the sunshine, as you can see. And um, I'm just gonna talk about how to a simple blog. So I'm using this little software. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm just gonna say how to dominate how to dominate okay how to dominate Google and how does a small little blog uh, go about dominating Google to the fullest now this is not just uh, my opinion I've been doing this for 10 years almost I started very early and uh, you know um, you know they started me call you know internet patreon a long time ago actually and uh, but I kind of liked it, you know. I feel like uh, you know it kind of represent, you know, what I'm what I stand for. And um, so let's get into this, okay? So how to dominate Google in 2020? Because these things, you know, they change a lot. They change a lot. So we need to always stay on top of the trend, okay? So I got my little um, app that you can see on the screen right now. So I'm keeping eye contact with you. Don't worry about it. For any questions or any problems that you may have, you can use the comment section down below and ask what is the thing that you struggle the most with your blog, um, and uh, and whatever whatever you think is stopping you from growing and dominating Google. So, uh, the first thing that I want to say that. Um, hopefully by now you have a blog right so I'm talking to somebody that does have a blog and uh, well done well done uh, because this thing I mean the potential is incredible and the potential is a part of this process uh, um, because at first that's just the setup right you have this um, inspiration to get started or whatever and then what happens is that that's the first the enemy that kicks in a lot of information a lot of time that you need to put into but somehow you managed to do it right you managed to um, uh, take that hour a day to um, kind of do the work so now you have your blog you have your uh, your posts uh, and now you looking to grow right and that's done now the enemy over here is time right you are pretty busy maybe you still have a job so you're doing this on the side and so it makes sense that you don't have time, but somehow you manage to do that. Now the problem what kicks in usually my clients is that uh, wrong information, right? You don't know, you, you, you only, it's not just about not having time, it's uh, spending that little time amount of time that you have with the wrong people that uh, maybe teach you, they teach you stuff uh, and at the end of the day they need to get money out of your pocket of course uh, so they give you information on SEO and how to grow your blog uh, very vague very mysterious uh, and it all looks strange uh, and it's all about feelings uh, uh, when in reality um, it's not even that it's not even that because uh, um, we have we do have hope and this is the last part of the uh, diagram before we get to the hope the real villain of this story once again is wrong information so um, what why am I saying why I'm why I'm taking this time just two minutes to introduce uh, uh, this whole idea is because man, this is not just uh, what I think. This is not just a guessing game uh, We take this information from Google itself. So I read um, long um, information products information PDFs Provided by Google. So if you are interested you can comment down in the section below um, I need you to read and then you can link me um, the whatever article whatever long article that you wish to read but you don't have a time and I do it for you so um, that's a quick thing that you can do in the comment section down below but let's get to how does a small blog dominates Google so there are three pieces of the puzzle okay it's just very simple this is just basic stuff this is elementary so we got the last one is the um, search console now you may have your site submitted to google in the search console but that's way more to it so hold on to this because we're gonna get in just a moment before the search console we have another thing that we call crawling okay crawling is key is key 
<laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna I'm I'm just gonna take the time to talk about briefly on that too, and before that that's the you know the queen of uh, of the, of the kingdom content content is the queen, okay of uh, this whole uh, thing that we talking about okay so let's start off with the search console why do I start so um, why do I want to start with the search console well you see because the search console is something that we all did it I mean when I first uh, did my uh, when I um, when I did my first blog uh, I mean as I was creating the blog I submitted my site to Google straight the thing is that for many 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 days I just didn't put any effort into the search console so the search console it is uh, pretty straight I mean you just add your site to the search console you verify your blog and then again you submit your site map but lately the search console has completely changed so the search console is basically Google uh, supervising your website supervising your blog so it tells you how fast it is it tells you how good it is it tells you how 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 well it's doing on mobile on desktop uh, so it's very very important that you get uh, behind the search console and spend a few hours uh, actually learning the search console it's not just about submitting your site getting it verified submit your site map and call it a day because that's where the magic happens because it, in fact google tells you what the problem is it just google way to it just google's way to uh, once again supervise um supervise uh, whatever you're doing with your blog and how well you're doing it so uh step number one take the time to learn the search console now if you have some blog post that you would like to uh, kind of sit down and read but you just don't have time once again that's the uh, comment section you can link me the blog I will read it for you and put up a brand new video maybe the next week who knows but that's the first one the search console so this is something that small blogs can dominate Google they can really dominate Google just by taking a look at the search console of they blog once they submitted and have a, a enormous fortune just by tweaking little stuff that Google actually suggests you to take a, to take action on so small blogs if you have a small blog and you want to grow you need to get behind the search console and uh, talking over faster there's a link in the description for a little checklist that I provide you guys and uh, maybe because you know you may have your blog that you one of the most important things beside content and searching for the right information to provide in your blog is how fast it is okay so I'll provide a checklist of um, maybe what was that seven steps uh, just very easy things that you can do to take your blog to the next level and make it fast so grab a copy of it so that's the search console the second thing it is uh, something that we call crawling as I said before now crawling is nothing but the way um, the um, um, how your readers and uh, Google itself uh, crawls your site is how the information on your site how Google once again in your reader find your content so this whole art because it is an art itself uh, is called crawling okay so um, what, it, what we can do for crawling and this is how the little takeaway that I wanna uh, I want you to get out of this video with is the first one you need to have a good title now everybody talks about good titles and the art of writing headlines and it is true but maybe you don't know why the thing is that first of all uh, just with a different thumbnail and a different title two videos because you don't watch the content in it one may have a higher click-through rate just because of one the thumbnail and the title on Google um, against YouTube YouTube has the the possibility to attract visitors uh, through a thumbnail we don't have that on Google so the headline takes the whole power and so it is a fundamental to have a good title now not only because once again that's the first uh, uh, that's the first introduction it's like how well you dress you know if you go into a lounge bar into a bar is uh, 
before you even talk uh, you know what matters is your look right so uh, it doesn't even matter once uh, you know you open your mouth uh, but that's the first thing that you know that's the first impression and the first impression is incredibly important so great good title once not only because of the user and getting that click but because that's how google crawls your site that's the first thing that google reads about your blog post so it is a fundamentally important to have a title that makes sense with the content that you provide in the the um in the in the in the blog post so as far as crawling goes so once again we've been talking about search console very important about just not submit your site but also get uh, the understanding of the search console so you can dominate with, even with a with a small blog just by tweaking stuff that just don't work uh, on your site and Google actually supervise you and tells you in the search console so get good at search console number two crawling this is what we're talking about right now and crawling once again the first thing is uh, title the second thing and which is the most important thing all right so we got just one all right this just one which is um, titles and uh, you know uh, making sure that the title makes sense uh, with the content of your post uh, and not only with your post but also with uh, your um, the link that is going to appear on the search bar the permalink uh, so it all connected title um, permalink and content so um, Imp hugely important good title the second thing is the so famous talked about link building link building has made us right we've been doing this uh, people that have been doing this for 10 years man they know that back in the days we could have made so much I made one year I made so much money just by doing link building it wasn't illegal at the time and it wasn't uh, black hat uh, uh, techniques it was just allowed to do the, to do that nowadays it's not allowed no more so the whole idea of link building and this is going to be a big secret that I'm going to reveal to you so get ready link building uh, everybody talks about link building and how to uh, you know get links how to get backlinks how to get backlinks but what Google actually tells you it is uh, the you know the way to actually link build and uh, the way it is to <laughs> i mean i'm making it look cheap i'm making it, i'm making it sound cheaper but this is how google actually tells you uh and i'll provide you know this is just not me again <laughs> this is just google stuff google's information and um the way you link build to do link building it uh, is to build uh, so the whole idea of, of your in the internet is to build communities right and google google that's what he wants it's creating this community and now he wants you to create your own community on your blog and join other communities in your space in your niche so what basically what google wants from you is to go on forums right just to go on forums wants to go on forums or other blogs other blogs all right this is an f a horrible f right i am the best <laughs> every um at writing on this uh, little software that i'm using so um it's to actually join forums you want to join forums and you want to provide the content when joining forums so let's say that you are interested in uh, woodworks right so what do you what would you do is to go on quora and ask for what works uh, um, questions related topics uh, and then join the community and provide an answer that's a, a comment with a content in it it's not just a comment but you actually uh, use the comment section as it was uh, uh, a blog post idea so even right now if you if you have a blog in the internet marketing space you can use the comment section of this video and if you are able to find somebody else in the comment section down below that asked a question and you provide an answer for it now a lot of youtubers don't allow that I personally do so you can leave whatever comment in the section down below and get a backlink to your channel to your blog now a lot of youtubers just uh, uh, they uh, remove the um, the allowance of links in the comment section down below I personally don't do that so you can even link and leave your link in the comment section down below once you wrote your little comment that kind of looks like a post I mean is a content itself boom and you get your backlink 
Now, this is not just me telling you. This is what legally Google wants from you. And Google allows you to have a backlinks and gives a whole bunch of authority to people that actually join forums, join community, uh, communities, other blog posts, and actually uh, leave uh, comments. There are content itself. So this uh, is a big one. And uh, honestly, this is what it is about uh, crawling, you know. Uh, crawling is just, once again, how Google gets your site, finds your content. And another thing that you really need to understand, when you have your blog post, you need to make sure that your content is foundable in your home page so if you have a blog post it's a good habit to have your posts hopefully the recent ones showing up in your home page because that's how your users will find your content so that's the third piece of advice that Google actually um, allows us to uh, you know take out you know keep in mind and give authority if we follow those guidelines so the first one the second one and then a third one once again the forums and other blogs okay and then another one again is to put your content in your home base uh, make it foundable obviously Google also suggests you to uh, um, build a list and let people in your list know about your new newest post uh, because that's how new people will find uh, how your old subscribers will, will find your new content and Google actually allows us to market the the phrase the famous phrase that you know an old customer is uh, way better than a new one or the an unsecure customer there comes a time and then it goes uh, it comes it goes uh, so a good customer old customer if you're gonna allow yourself to find techniques uh, to get your old customer your old readers uh, uh, following you all the way along uh, well more power to you and uh, Google will give you authority and you will dominate your blog post uh, even with a list of 10 people if those 10 people will come back to your blog to your channel to whatever we're talking about blogs but YouTube works the same way the algorithm will read that as a uh, trustworthy signal so it'll say okay so if 10 people come back to this blog uh, I can advise that blog to somebody else so boom and he's gonna push you you know up and up uh, on the search engine so that's the second thing which is crawling okay how we doing guys if you have any questions I please you to provide it in the comment section down below while I clean my uh, beautiful board I'm using this little app over here is uh, almost three o'clock I love this time of the day because it allows you to actually you know put a lot of passion in whatever you do so the uh, the the queen of all is the content right content now uh, content is a big topic is a huge topic you must have a strategy to a good content publishing thing don't leave me because I want to share some with you something special at the end of this video while we talk about content and um, so the, the whole thing about content is that you need to write well okay write well write well and often okay write well and often so these are just basic stuff man uh, the way people are searching for information is they have questions you need to provide them answers and hopes if you can accomplish that you can get your readers to read the second blog post the biggest the biggest the biggest one is not even the answer but it's the hope so you obviously you want to make sure that you have your answer in your blog post somewhere between the intro and the main content of your site so you want to have a bold of say um, I usually do it two sentences maximum three sentences to have your answers to add the, add the answer to the problem the answer to the question the solution bold uh, once again between the intro and the main content of your poster so you want to write well and you want to write often another piece of advice that I can uh, hardly pass on to you knowing that you will follow and knowing that you will succeed is uh, actually categorize your post 
in a way man in a way that makes sense it makes sense so if you starting uh, whatever man whatever you do if you just categorize uh, uh, so that you yourself are on your blog and you're not confused most of the time my clients are confused themselves for what they're doing on the website how in the world can it, you can expect that somebody else will make sense out of what you don't make sense what you can't make sense so uh, this is uh, I mean so vital so once again uh, make sure that you write well and you want to have a uh, um, encouraging uh, hopeful uh, content uh, that's key the second one is to you know or as I said categorize your blog post uh, categorize everything on your site and then uh, obviously uh, you want to make sure that um, you know is if it's necessary yes it is and this is what the biggest one that I wanted to introduce to you in YouTube I mean I hate youtubers that have the uh, disabled comment section uh, down below I don't know what why that is I do have a lot of colleagues and a lot of friends on YouTube to do that uh, I'm, a, I'm a big believer of you know freedom so uh, let alone uh, just uh, don't allow comment in the section down below it's crazy but on your blog that's a different story on your blog is a different story you see because if you go on YouTube right YouTube is a platform on its own so they take care of uh, uh, removing spammers yeah you can uh, just uh, let Google let YouTube know uh, you know if a comment looks spammy or whatever but most likely YouTube understand it, understands it by itself you know this is artificial intelligence uh, so they understand that and they provide um, blockage from uh, a blacklist of uh, people on YouTube that are spammers um, they do something they behave like spammers so but when it comes to your blog post uh, that's your platform you need to take care of it so if you're in a beginning stage obviously you want to remove the comment section I don't care remove it uh, this is not just me this is uh, Google itself I have a, um, a little blog that I started back in the days and I still do uh, run it with passion is a small idea is dedicated to uh, a hero of mine so I dedicated a whole blog on it and uh, you don't you don't have no idea how many spam comments I get I mean it's crazy it's crazy so these are bots that just work automatically so you wanna uh, make sure that you turn off your comment section in your blog post and this is for the creating content uh, the creating content idea so uh, just to run through what we've done so far before I ask you this thing that I wanted to ask you right now and uh, it's actually you know I'm shooting this live it's almost three o'clock and it's a beautiful day actually over here where you at right now put it in the comment section down below say I'm here and then put your um whatever you're at right now so once again to dominate the Google search engine even with a, a blog with a small blog is three steps that you need to take into account the last one is the search console the search console is huge it's huge because it's just a, a way for Google to bosh you okay it is telling you what is wrong with your site it's telling you uh, if the page speed is so low and it's bad it actually tells you and uh, because he tells you I give you a checklist of uh, you know whatever all the things that you gotta do that you gotta do right now to make your site low fast very important search console get good at it uh, if you have any articles that you just don't have time to read through you can put it in the comment section down below I take a look at it hey why you at it I don't think you have done so already hit that subscribe button right now hit it just uh, just like that and say I subscribe in the comment section down below so that's the search console the second thing is as we said the crawling idea so you need to make sure that your uh, blog post is searchable and again is uh, called link building and link building the only way Google gives you pride for it gives you really authority just because you're doing these little things is to join communities in your niche and join forums and the right content and get your backlink it works like a charm Google loves it and this is how you build link building this is how you build uh, backlinks so and that's crawling and then uh, you know the thing that we talked about before 
uh, have your content foundable so email your list uh, even though you have 10 people okay even though you have 10 people I know that you don't you cannot just uh, take 10 people and then nobody's gonna click on it so you say uh, okay it doesn't work uh, because it is because if your list was hundred you would have three people in it uh, clicking your email and clicking on your blog post so don't look at the numbers right now just get into the habit of doing so that when you grow your list uh, when you get to the hundred you will have your three people finding your blog post straight ahead if Google reads that and see okay this blog uh, um, he just published this poster and now uh, three people are reading it already in not even 24 hours boom Google said okay I can push this forward I can push this up so a uh, very important part and you know whatever we talk about before and then the first one is content uh, in the crawling we talk about title as well title is big one you know I spend I love I do I love to you know spend my days writing titles you know it's a art itself but you see an increase in your success just by the way you present yourself and that's true even when titles as well and then content you know you want to write well make sure you write well uh, can see, uh, put uh, information that makes sense that's a problem is the solution that's an answer is the question this is what you want this is what you're getting and uh, make sure to use the hopeful uh, technique to leave your uh, readers with hopes hopes and dreams and link to your next post and uh, this is some of the three step uh, the three pillars okay three pillars the three pillars to make your small blog into uh, a uh, dominating search uh, Google search engine machine Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I don't like to repeat myself, but I do a lot because I know it works. So that's a comment section down below. If you have any articles you just don't have the time to read, um, uh, I will definitely help you out on that. So click that. Um, so just provide the link in the description of this uh, video in the comment section just put the link I will take a look at it I will read it and then I will provide you with the easy to follow information like this one and uh, don't forget that that's a checklist to make your site load faster faster than ever and uh, thank you so much for watching us you right back in the next one it was my pleasure to host uh, this quick uh, webinar this quick uh, this quick presentation so I'm humble uh, and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching happy one